Well, um, a lot of you have reached out uh, for me to cover this. In fact, I have already tried to cover this in my own way, mentioning the hypocrisy of uh, Blizzard Entertainment uh, removing a digital noose from their game while accepting billions of dollars from a government that is currently succeeding where Hitler failed in removing a group of people that they find less than them. Uh, I am not an expert uh, in everything going on there, but I am a platform in which to share information. I will ask that if you view this video, understand that it's it's, it's pretty spicy. It's not my normal jokes and, and sarcasm, but it's super important. Um, and I also understand that there are problems everywhere in the world. There are problems in South Africa. There are problems right here in the United States. There are problems in every ma and problems in every major country. But this particular one has been happening right out in the open, and the United States administration, from what I can tell, has said nothing. Um, every major administration in the world has said nothing, and. It's because of money. There's really no other way of saying it. Um, I, it's it's just heartbreaking. So Majin Nuaz uh, has been, um, I hope I'm saying his name right, sorry, uh, if I'm not, uh, has been on a hunger strike four days now, um, protesting the CCP's removal of Uyghur Muslims from China. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correct as well. They are literally loading them on trains. I mean, the imagery, okay? This is just, it's... This is not footage from like the 40s. This is footage from like days ago. Now he has a, a petition that he's uh, doing, which I'll link in the description below. This is more so for my UK viewers, but here in the United States, this is lacking coverage as well. Doesn't necessarily fit with the quarterings brand these days that cover more pointless stuff like idiot Hollywood. Uh, people saying idiot things. But this is real. There is atrocities happening right now. And how can we have an impact? Well, I don't think anyone wants WW3. At the very minimum, you can let your companies know. Blizzard. How about Riot Games, which is now owned by China? You can let them know that you're not going to be playing their games. In, in, in 2020, in, in the West, in particular in America, it's very difficult to live your life by the, uh, I'm not buying anything made in China. Uh, my computer is probably made there. My software is probably made there. The stream, YouTube, or where, everywhere I exist has got some impact. But you can still make small choices. You can still make tangible choices that, you know, maybe you want to let Blizzard know, hey, maybe maybe take a look into, you know, when you bend the knee to remove slot machines from your video games or when you dump a Diablo Immortal onto us, you know, maybe maybe think about that when you're cashing that check and you expect me to get, believe that you give a damn about human rights. Here's the express.co.uk. Drone footage undercovers video has exposed a t the terrifying scale of Chinese cover-up over its oppression of the country's Uyghur, I think that's how you say it, Muslim community. This is real. This I've been talking about this for months, where, where the men are shipped out and the women have like Chinese government officials sleeping in the bed with them. 
New footage from inside China has revealed the extent of Beijing's cover-up and its human rights uh, abuses against the Uyghur community. Recent footage has surfaced on social media showing them being bussed out of the region to work in forced labor in factories across the country during the lockdown. This follows similarly chilling drone footage that showed huge masses of Uyghur Muslims being rounded up, bound, blindfolded as they were waited to be load waited to be loaded on a train to be taken away. The unprecedented government-run crackdown of these people has been described by experts and human rights groups as as an extension of China's mass surveillance system. Since 2016, as many as one million Uyghur and other Muslim minorities have been held in alleged concentration camps where they are referred to the Chinese Communist Party as vocational training centers, re-education camps, right? Oh, and re-education facilities. In footage filmed last year, dozens had their heads freshly shaved as seen blindfolded with their hands tied behind their backs during a mass transfer at a train station in northwest region of China. Recent clips include dozens of Chinese TikTok videos showing Uyghurs being transported to work in, in involuntary labor schemes. In January, videos began to surface in Doi, Doyen, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, a version of TikTok only available to Chinese users, revealed crowds of people being packed into trains, buses, and airplanes. Channel 4 reporter Lindsay Hilsom claimed that this signals a new phase in China's campaign to forcibly assimilate the Muslim minority. She said that Beijing were trying to disperse them around China to its eastern manufacturing belt away from their families. One clip shown Channel 4 News showed a man telling the camera that his wife and children are starving. Another video showed an elderly man walking outside during lockdown being confronted by a local Chinese woman. When the woman asked the man to return home, he responds, But what do we do when we are hungry? Do we eat the building? Uh, Russia, Rushan Abbas from a Uyghur campaign group told Channel 4 News that the last several months has not only had China failed to empty its concentration camps but for safety, but China has sent massive numbers to work as proper slaves. I don't understand. Look, I know we've got our own problems, but this is an issue that it it is heartbreaking to know the real reason nobody's saying anything. Donald Trump and this administration, the United States, needs to make a statement about this. And that statement can be simple. Place a giant tax on all imports from China. Look at trading with these companies. You don't need to fight with iron and steel anymore. By taking money and knowing of this situation, by taking trade deals and money from these countries, is a form of complicity. And that doesn't even get into what they're doing with Hong Kong. Just yesterday, China's crushing Hong Kong wants global control of communications. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on Friday accused China of trying to dominate the global communication networks and systems and slander for once again crushing freedom in Hong Kong and forcing mass abortions and sterilization among Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang. Good, Mike Pompeo. Good on you, dude. Legitimately. These departments of state treasury also designated five Chinese nationals and two entities for alleged involvement in trafficking uh, synthetic opioids. The CCP is crushing freedom in Hong Kong, Pompeo said at the annual summit of the family leader, a conservative group in Iowa State. Look, this isn't a conservative or liberal issue. This is a human's right, human rights issue. All right. People are worried about digital nooses in video games when there's literal camps in the nation that produces them. Now, the Trump administration has also pushed other countries to bar Chinese companies and welcome back its decision 
Uh, the, so welcome this week, the decision of the UK to bar Hawaii from participating in the rollout of 5G. India, which banned 56 Chinese apps in retaliation for the Galwan clashes, could also bar Hawaii from its 5G network. They should. The United States has escalated attacks on China in recent weeks, followed by punitive measures in many instances over the entire range of issues issuing, including the new national security law for Hong Kong and the mistreatment of weaker Muslims. President Donald Trump signed into law earlier this week legislation that empowers his administration to announce sanctions against China for the Hong Kong security law. He also signed an executive order the same day that preferential treatment for Hong Kong, which through an earlier directive, will be denied high-tech exports. The administration is also reported to be considering visa bans on officials of the ruling CCP party and their relatives and to throw those out who are already in the U.S. Do it. The U.S. ban could extend to officials of the People's Liberation Army, according to reports, or it could be narrowed to just pick the 25 member of the Politburo. The Trump administration also announced sanctions against several Chinese officials last week for human rights abuses. So here in the United States, we're calling it out. But here, as, as consumers, we can make small changes. I'm not saying, you know, look, you got to buy paper plates, all right? Not everyone has the extra $4 to buy made in the USA paper plates. I get it. You shouldn't feel like garbage. But what if what if just two out of 10 times you decided to buy local? It isn't all or nothing. Modern day politics has conditioned people to expect to react to everything with an all or nothing mentality. And that is a recipe for failure. You have to consider your decisions incrementally and understand that, okay, I bought this, these paper plates are made in China, whatever. Oh, uh, here, I'm looking at uh, a spark plug or whatever. Okay, this other one's 30 cents more, I'll just buy it. If, if one out of 10 of your decisions, one out of 20 of your decisions, buy local, it has an effect when you run that over 500 million people. Make that, be a conscious consumer. Let your video game developers like Blizzard know that you know that they're cashing that check, that every time they change their little icons to a rainbow in June, that they don't mean jack shit. I hope you enjoyed or were at least informed by this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.